Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are here at the Tiber River once again. This time we're going to try a different peg. I did try Tiber Rocks, but I think it's a little bit late in the day to really have a whole lot of luck there because the peak is starting to end and that is a better location for spinning so what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the float and feeder heaven because it's not going to be as important in regards to catching the catfish so let's go ahead and head over there and we're going to show you what kind of cats you can pull out of this area Now I did check this out for a little while just to see how effective it was and my god guys the catfish here are big not as big as what some of the ones I think later like in Germany and other places but big enough but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put my rod pod thing down let's see I need to get my right here's a good spot now I'm gonna get out my feeder rods we'll start with the bigger of the two and I tell you this duck muscle meat they really really like that really like it so I'm gonna to toss that out there anywhere around here is good honestly guys I'll go ahead and put that down. I've got a number or a two odd hook on there. You can go bigger than that, but I think that has been successful. Now the shrimp have done very well, honestly. And I think though, however, I might try something different, like leeches, because there is a mission to complete to get with these leeches. Shoot, I only have one. That's it. Well, I'm going to have to make it count, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to toss them out there as well. So they are a popular catfish bait. Fish with them myself quite often. They last a lot longer than any other live bait you can use, and they stay alive in the water a hell of a lot longer. And they're harder for them to get off the hook so you can't beat that but I also think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of spin casting while this is sitting here because I did want to give it a bit of a try now one thing I'm gonna have to do I need to make sure that my tensions way down because these guys pull so hard and you really have to have really thin line. Well, we've already got it to one attacking the leeches, believe it or not. Alright, and it looks like I got one on each one. Yeah, the duck muscle is very, very, very popular. This seems like a fairly decent sized fish, too. Alright, I'm coming. I gotta get this one in first. Ah, he took my bait. There you go. That's a decent Wells catfish. This isn't a trophy, but. He's on the upper scale of the common ones. 328 cash, not bad. And I think what we'll do is we'll switch over to something else here bait-wise. Let's see. I think we're going to go ahead and tell you what, let's try the small cut, small cut bait. See if they go for that. 
If not, we'll go to the shrimp. We got plenty of shrimp. And or, and or the large cut bait. Just I don't have that much large cut bait, honestly. And I'd rather save it as long as I can. This one I'm going to have to pull in because there's no bait on it. Bugger took my bait while I was fiddling around with the other one. <laughs> Sneaky little devil. What is known as a sneaky sneak. Alright, now we can cast it back. I think I'm going to try way over here see it. It's hanging out over there. Okay, we're going to go back to this rod again. I didn't even have a chance to cast it out last time. All right, we're going to see if anything in the world goes for it. Now, it is my understanding to stop and go, gosh, bless it. Well, the small cut bait is doing all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to discover that if you're going to spin cast, you're going to spin cast over here. If you're going to bottom fish, you're bottom fishing. Can't really mix them like some other of the, the lakes. And he's eight pounds. I'm starting to get a pretty full net here, guys. I've got like maybe 30 pounds left before I am filled up. Yeah, I've had him bite on. Oh yeah, see, I've had him bite off of this really well. These bullet spinners, but you got to use really thin line. I'm gonna give a little more attention to that. God, just a tad more, and it was enough to break it. Can you believe that? Hmm, that's aggravating. We're going to have to keep the tension way down. Just have to fight him. See, I wish I'd bought some 8 pound test. This is 6 pound. I don't have any 8 pound, and there's no 8 pound in the store. So, kind of at a disadvantage here. And see, I'm thinking that this 10 pound is just a bit too big. But we'll put it on there. Give it a try. And I'm going to keep the tension down anyway where it was. I'm going to try this narrow spin this time. But yeah, they, they bite pretty good. But it seems but you cannot have a very thick line that seems to be the one problem I've been having Oop. yeah the trout have Really good eyesight. See, they may not 
go for this. This may be too much. Yeah, I didn't get a very good cast either. Ninety-one feet, that's pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I may have to go back to there and just have to deal with it as it is. Oh, number two. This is a big fish. This is a big, big fish, guys. We might have us a trophy this time. Oh, yeah. Trophy City. Good God, this is a tough old bird. Yeah, that duck muscle is great. Once that's unlocked for you guys, definitely give it a try. But this is a big fish. This is a big wells. I can tell you that. He is not coming in easily. It's about testing the extent of my gear here. Jeez, fella. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some major repairs on this thing after we're done. There he is. <laughs> New personal record. Wells Catfish. One... 1,193 cash, guys. Now that is a fish. Let's take a look at him. Get a picture. There you go. Now that's what we're talking about. That is a fish, guys. That, my friends, is a fish. And I'm getting another bite. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my net's almost full. Alright, let's grab that. Yeah, we're going to have to call this a day because we don't have any more room in the net. I'm not sure if we're going to have room for this guy. Okay, he's. This is a very really good size one, too. Yeah, small cut bait does very well. Seems like in the um, Missouri it will only get the smaller cats, but this is. This is doing pretty good. There we go. Oh, it's an eel! <laughs> I thought it was a catfish. Yes, we got a release. Check that out. One or ten thousand dollars fine now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Tiber River. Until then, I will see you later. Bye bye.